You come in his place and you're making a mess because you come from Free Israel. Zone. That's the name of the movie about an Israeli, a Palestinian, and an American woman. She's played by Natalie Portman, who suddenly have to rely on each other while driving through Jordan. It's just one of 51 movies that are part of the 26th annual San Francisco Jewish Film Festival. Welcome executive director Peter Stein and the writer-director of one of the films on Yiddish. It's called Yiddish Theater, A Love Story, Dan Ketsir. Welcome to both of you. Well, thanks, Jane. Now, nice this is an old film festival, right? It's 26 years old. It's actually the oldest and largest in the world of Jewish film festivals, of which there are now more than 100, which is kind of amazing. But, yeah, we're kind of the granddaddy. And when we say Jewish film festivals, I mean, we think of movies like Hester Street, right. uh, Crossing the Lancey, Schindler's List. Right. But it's more than that. It is. Those are some great classic American uh, Jewish films. But, in fact, our festival looks at independent films from all over the world. We have films from 13 countries this year, not just including Israel, but from France and from uh, from Canada obviously from the US documentaries fiction animated films so it's a whole sort of Jewish experience and also a look into the worlds that we share with other with other folks right and it's uh, it's it's an amazing eclectic uh, for sure group. tell me Dan uh, you decided to do a movie about the history of the Yiddish theater and yeah. one woman who's determined to keep it alive I was vacationing in New York um, just wanting to have fun you know go to bars discos whatever and when I was in the subway, I met this unbelievable woman. She was in her late 90s. And she said, you got to come c see my show. I said, listen, I don't know. I'm on vacation. She literally forced me to come. <laughs> and I said, look, I've never seen a show in Yiddish. I don't speak Yiddish. I don't care about Yiddish. You're from Israel. And I'm from Israel. Right. You know, we're a little arrogant. We don't like things that are a little different. <laughs> <laughs> and I just was fa found myself l looking and crying and crying. And it was so emotional. And then she said, we have one more week, you gotta help me. I said, look, I don't, ha I can't, I don't have any money, but I have a camera, so I'm gonna help you by documenting it. And it's a good documentary, because oh, it's about you. the history of the Yiddish theater, but also the impact it has today. Right. And uh, it's, it's quite unusual, so that's and part of the festival. Now, you have an interesting philosophy about how, uh, about the American Western, right? Yeah. We're talking everything from uh, <laughs> Red River to Bonanza, how that's in been influenced by Jewish uh, history. Right. It also goes back to the Yiddish culture. Um, what I read is that back in the day, all the people who came from Russia to to the U.S., from Poland, whatever, they had to write Westerns, and they didn't know anything about Westerns. They didn't know anything about the, right, the Wild they, Wild West. So they created this culture where they took the shtetl and just transferred it to the U.S. Instead of Cossacks, they put Indians. But the, <laughs> the history of it is that in the Wild Wild West, the Indians would not attack the little towns, and everything was different. So many of the Westerns are basically the story of Jewish Jews in Russia rather than American <laughs> in the Wild West. That's right, yeah. <laughs> little little uh, transposition there. A little right. bit. Now, right. one of the movies is about forgiving, uh, it, that's part of the festival, is called Forgiving Dr. Mengele. Right. Uh, explain this, please. Uh, Dr. Mengele, of course, refers to the, the sadistic Nazi doctor who experimented on, on twins in Auschwitz, and it's a grim, grim uh, chapter of, of the Holocaust history. But here's a, a now an American Jewish woman in her 80s named Eva Moses Kaur, who was experimented on by Mengele in the concentration camp, but who has come to realize in her older age that the only way to healing herself right. is to publicly forgive not just Nazis in general for their crimes, but specifically to the, the person who most injured her. And so this is a story about a woman's coming to consciousness about forgiveness, but that stance has gotten her into some hot water with some of the people who suffered with her. Who other say, Holocaust survivors. Ho other Holocaust survivors who say, you, you know, we can never forgive, forgive that way. So it's a beautiful documentary yeah. that is a portrait of her, but also gets into some of that conflict of what mm. forgiveness really means. So that's something like Eli Wiesel talks quite about uh, a bit about that. Absolutely. So that's so interesting. And she's coming to the festival. She'll be with us at our screenings, and we're doing a panel in Mountain View, because we show all over the Bay Area, not just in San Francisco. There, so. there, now, there's some other movies. Uh, I think we have a clip from one of them. It's uh, about uh, women, two women, right? Yes, an Israeli feature, brand new Israeli feature that's an insight into uh, the women's experience in the military and a particularly appropriate film uh, to look at right now. And it's about something uh, It's very contemporary. It's called Close to Home, directed by two women and about and about two women's experience in the army, one bad girl and one uh, and one sort of goody two shoes. Mm. Were you in the army also, Dan? I was, four and a half years. I was a paratrooper. Uh -huh. Oh, paratrooper. Yeah. Yeah. So this experience, uh, have you seen this film yet? Uh, not one yet. Of the... 
of the many films. Yes, it's it's making big big a big splash in Israel. But mm -hmm. uh, we have the Northern California premiere, and that's true. Many of our films are from Israel and deal sure. and can give a lot of insight into the current conflict, which we're also deeply saddened and concerned about. Sure. But of course, there are many films that get to uh, other kinds of. Uh, Jewish and communal experiences around the world. We have like films Mike, Michael Tilson Thomas from Shtetl to Swing. We have a wonderful uh, film that traces the roots of, ta of uh, Tin Pan Alley and swing right. music back to Eastern People Europe. People don't realize our own Michael Tilson Thomas is a big part of that world. Absolutely. Gr grew up in it. Grandparents were a big part of the Yiddish theater. That's yeah. right. So it's, it's all wonderful. It's all part of the Jewish Film Festival. A big, wonderful festival. If you're tired of what you're seeing coming out of Hollywood and sick of going to the multiplexes and mm -hmm. feeling ripped off, Check it out, folks. It's the San Francisco Jewish Film Festival now through August 7th in San Francisco, Berkeley, Mountain View, San Rafael. Call 415-621-0556 or log on, Peter. Yes, sfjff.org. Okay, and, the, and look for your film as well, Yiddish Theater, A Love Story. Yeah, Monday at 4 at the Castro. Great, Dan. Thank you so much. Thank and I you love your idea us. about uh, how the Jews influenced uh, the American West. John Ford, are you listening? All right. Thank you so much. And right now we're having a heat wave, so that means we're going to Stacy Sawyer.